don't trust him, but he's a better option than Karen fucking Bass. I, you know, it's funny because I actually think Karen's doing a better job than what I thought. Like, she really does seem to be clearing out the homeless people. She didn't I mean, clear she's... them out. Why? Oh, from Beverly Grove? Is that what you're talking about? That thing? That was a publicity stunt. She didn't do anything. You don't think she's doing No, anything. they're just moving them around. They're putting up, they're, char- they're, they're opening up hotel rooms and putting them in there. That's clearing them out. You guys, this is the thing. The only way to fix this, and no one wants to hear it, is to forcibly force them into treatment. Forcibly put them into treatment facilities against their will because shitting on the side of roads, publicly shooting up, destroying yourself, killing yourself in front. Like you live here with a child. You know what I mean? Your yeah. child is going to see this growing up. Like how, how is that good for anyone to, to witness? No, I mean, they need I to forcibly put these people away and that's for their own good. That's for their own good. But no one will do that because it's like the wrong thing to say. Uh, I actually agree with you on that part. I, I agree with you on that one. I, I think because, you know, my husband and I are looking into being foster parents here, right? So with foster kids, they give the parents about 18 months or family member to step up, right? Through oh. lots of things that they, requirements they have to meet. Mm-hmm. I feel the same as you. Why don't they do that with someone who is schizophrenic or a drug addict? 18 months to find a family member. Will the family member take them and support them? Yeah, will a sibling, idea. will any, and after 18 months, if mm-hmm. no one will help them. That's a good idea. Then, or if they don't meet the mile markers to re- remain sober or take their medication, they become a warden of they the state. Want to because, just like yeah. a foster child does. That's and then, is. you know, then- we go back to having mental health institutions, which unfortunately, no, we don't want that. But look at what happens when you don't have them. Look what happens. Yeah, it's they're, well, it's it makes homeless people vulnerable too. You know, it's they're really sad what they're doing to themselves. They walk around with like gangrene legs and like open wounds, and yeah, it is terrible. so bad. Like people don't people who people see me talking like this either living in like Ohio or Nebraska, they don't understand what these big cities are like and how bad they are. So they think I'm this evil person. Oh my God, she hates the homeless people. She just wants homeless people to be put away. That's not it at all. Like you guys don't understand how bad it is. They actually need, their brains are so fried now. They need to be actually physically, they, they cannot decide for themselves anymore. All I think is drugs, 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 drugs. That's all they know. It's, it's so, it is very sad when you walk around here. I mean, it's like an episode of The Walking Dead. It and is. what's sad is they're, they're victims. You know, we got rid of, well, you know, mental health institutions years ago for mm-hmm. cost. They shut and, them down. They shut them down. Right. And because, you know, people felt like they were being abused or forced to take medication. Yeah. Problem is they're abused on the street. They're, oh, totally. I mean, all the time you see the stories of either somebody hurt, harming a homeless person, yeah. they harm each other. It's, it's like, what's it's anarchy. They have their own <clears throat> rules they live by. I mean, and it's also, a, it's also a joke. Like, they, they, if you guys have seen, they're not just tents anymore they live in. They live in encampments. They've set up encampments and they now steal electricity and they yeah. have like, you know, TV and cooking there. It's like actually, and they can, they're free to do drugs on the street and they're pay, and they're given money and they're given syringes. So why are they're never going to stop? Yeah. Um, Alex, we, we hear a lot of your rants and your hot takes, but I want to go back. I've never really seen an interview where you go in depth about like, how you grew up, how you, you know, if you've always been outspoken. So you grew up in Orange County. Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, what were you like as a kid? I was fat. Like, that's a thing. I know everyone hates, that's one of my rant things is like, fat isn't pretty and fat is unhealthy and it's not. So fuck off. It's just not, period. Okay. So I was fat growing up. I call, I say I have the, the fat gene and it's true. I feel like people are just more inclined. Some people are more like inclined or whatever to be, to just gain weight easy. And that's me. Like I have to always be careful about what I eat. I think I have a slow metabolism. Plus, I don't work out. I'm not like a workout freak. I freak. I'd rather limit calories and work out. This is my personal preference. And nowadays, with like this body positivity thing, it's just so destructive. It's horrible. Like people lie to lie to everyone, lie to each other. Oh, you know, you look so good, girl. You're like 300 pounds, but you can still rock that bitch. You're unhealthy and you look disgusting. It's the truth. Okay. And no one will talk about it. Like, what is this body positivity movement crap? I mean, it's BS. It breeds unhappiness. Like, it breeds unhealthiness. Like, it's so mean. It's a very mean movement. So you, okay, so you grow up. I went on a tangent on that. (laughs) No, it's fine, it's fine. You grew up, you yeah. were overweight as a kid. Yes. And you were saying, when did you go on your first diet? I was, I like literally was, I remember to go to like the sixth grade pool party at like the YMCA. I remember like having to put a bathing suit on. I was just like, so knew that I was trying to diet. I remember I was like a couple of weeks before I were, like was trying to eat less. And so I literally since sixth grade, I've been trying to like keep weight down. I got in high school, I got as high as like 185 pounds, which I'm five, six is like a lot. Right. 
and um, I ended up losing it. And I, you guys know, people who have been watching me on YouTube for a long time, I did get fat again, um, like about eight years ago, not up to 185, but pretty close to it. And then I, it was like something that clicked in my head. I always say weight loss, it's a hard thing. It's all mental. It's all it mental. Is mental. Yeah, yeah. Or, I, or you can lock your, or someone has to lock you in a closet. Seriously, that is the only thing that works. Lock someone in a closet or mental. But you don't think sad. there's any in between. You don't think there's any. It's all mental because it's. Pe- it like, is emotional. It's, it's emotional eating. Whatever. You're, you're, it's, um, what, no, you have to. You can't. I mean, you have to work through it. You have to choose not to overeat, or you have to choose to work out. You know what I mean? There's like it's all mental. You can't force someone to. You have to be but prepared to lose the weight. It's hard. Losing weight is, it is really it is. hard. You know. So I eventually lost the weight. I've gained a little bit since. I think I'm like five to seven pounds bigger than I, and that's a big thing for me. Like I don't like to creep up because it can go from like five pounds to 20 pounds. You know what I mean? If you don't watch it. Wait, so, have, are you a big Ozempic fan? Wagovi? I would, I would love, honestly, I'm not going to do that because I'm going through IVF right now. Oh yeah. yes. So, I hear ya. Yeah. I'm working on that too. Okay. Like for having another baby. And of course awesome. you, you want to gain weight, go on IVF. You're like bodies, like yeah. so many hormones, so there's, there's so just, much going like, on. I think maybe that's the reason why I've gained some weight because of IVF, but that's the reason I'm not doing Ozempic or anything. I would do it. I don't care. Whatever. Um, is because of the IVF thing. I don't want to do that right now. Um, and plus I want to see what happens to these people. I hear there's like the side effects, I like know. Ozempic face. I don't know what that means. So I rail I'm just waiting it. for like the first ones to come out, see how bad it is. Like let's wait a year or two. I don't so, know. Okay. You grew up in Orange County. Yeah. You now I have, do you have siblings? I have a brother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is your brother older or younger? He's three years younger. And what, when you guys were growing up, were you close he friends? He was like cool and popular and really smart and very, um, like athletic and like hot and like he's like Mr. Whatever. And I was like fat, frumpy and dumb. Like I didn't do well in school because I hated school. I like ditched. I like went to Starbucks and got mocha frappuccinos and went to eat. Like that's literally what I did. Uh, people are very fascinated by your lifestyle. Did you grow up wealthy? No. Did you? Nothing. No, a very like middle class, just a very middle class family. Like my both my parents had jobs, like regular jobs. What they do? What, what, my what mom did... worked for a travel agency and my dad's in sales. Like, and that wow yeah no like nothing amazing just normal people and it's yeah people uh, that's it's funny people don't understand but it's all my jewelry line i've started this jewelry line i'm getting oh, into to- jewelry okay yeah. totally <laughs> or, yeah totally <laughs> no, organic i love yeah, to see it you're you're ha- doing- I, every i feel like everyone has a jewelry line nowadays everyone thinks they can just ha- start a jewelry line i did i started this um with crystals and chains that's like my thing is like big chunky chains and crystals like vintage crystals um about was it like Right when I started my YouTube channel, it was all organic too. I've never taken a design class or anything. I just couldn't afford jewelry at the time because I didn't have any money or a job. So I started making jewelry and people asked about it. It was totally natural. I eventually did get a job and then I was doing HRH while I had my job. And I was like, I'm making way more money doing HRH. I need to quit this and focus full time. And I did. And it's paid off, obviously. But yeah, I don't make any money from YouTube. Really, I make nothing. Like, are not- you kidding? You have hundreds of thousands, hundreds of, views. Of, thousands okay. of You must views. have. Stop it. You must have okay. like four I was million monetizing views a month. everything co- incorrectly, and a friend of mine recently told me so. I did change some settings. I'm, I'm making more now. Um, what are they things- supposed to be? Wait, what are the everything settings? Everything clicked. It's like ev- every single monetization option, click it, and then you could go in the back. I'll show you. Are you on YouTube? Yeah, I'll show you. Let's make sure you're doing it right. Okay. He showed me, and I am earning more now. Um, but people earn like thirty grand a month, twenty. Like I'm not anywhere near that. Really? God, you have I, hundreds of thousands. You put on a video almost every one, day. I, no, no, no. I only put one a week. I think <clears throat> oh, maybe you that's do? why. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm oh. not going to do more than that. Like it's it's my jewelry line that that my make my money from. I have very loyal customers since day one. Twelve years are still ordering from, buying from me. We hand make most of it. Like basically ninety percent ninety percent of the line we hand make. It's it's hard to believe knowing your persona online that you were not cool in school. No. Like, uh, were you outspoken? Like, were you a class president? Did you run for things in no, high school? No, never. Oh my god, I was. <laughs> fat I like oh I like wore too much like blush I like I tried to like I loved fashion but like I couldn't wear anything because I didn't feel good about myself and like thank god okay because I hate like fat asses sorry okay, I'm not doing that sorry never mind well, this is not the right show <laughs> I was gonna forget you about can, on my what? channel I don't about, send everyone you can read you can <laughs> I was like, see, I'm very, I was very no, self-aware even back I, then. I don't I want you very to censor on this podcast. I think people, <laughs> <So funny. laughs> no, you like, <laughs> you're really against fat people. It doesn't bother me. I mean, this is why I don't understand how people are, get so offended. And I, I want to know if you think we're changing or if we're turning a corner. Cause I do see, that's the thing about you say about Los Angeles right hmm. now. I will say this cause I did have a little bit of a meltdown. My speech therapist wanted to wear a mask 
in when she came speech to speech therapist. That's yes. Oh my god. So I did write to the organization. But Dumb. here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. This is what, do you see. But but this is the thing about LA is most people agree with us though. They agree with but me. But they go about, along with it, right? Like they sent right. their kids to school with masks on. Like I they know, did that. But it's weird because when you talk to people here in LA, I have yet to find. I don't know. Maybe I'm going in the wrong circle. I've yet to find somebody crazy over liberal. I'm trying to think of who. Anyway, 